everyone. Morning. We're here at AB1 Patent International Airport, Guam. We're flying over to Narita, Japan. I have sold all my Sony camera gear and I want to fly over to Japan to get a new camera system to try out. And we already have a model set up there um, in Japan. Her name is Erica. So come with me. Our plane leaves in like 20 minutes and let's uh, go over to uh, Japan. Hey everyone, so we took the uh, train from Tokyo Station down to Kamata Station and we are staying here at the Sotetsu Fresa Inn. So far service has been really excellent and uh, check-in time usually in Japan is about 3 p.m. for the hotel so we have about two or three hours before we actually check into the hotel. So let's go to uh, Yodobashi camera and um, try out some cameras. So here we are at Yodobashi camera. I'm looking at the Sony A7 III. Attached is the Sony 24 to 105 uh, G lens. Uh, I just don't like the ergonomics of the Sony A7 series. It just doesn't feel good on my hands. Next, we have the Lumix G9. You can tell it's a G9, and uh, the GH5 and the G9 have their red ring. Focusing is super quick, very fast to focus. It feels great in the hands, smaller than I thought it would be. Next camera, we were looking at the uh, Nikon or Nikon D850. Godfrey's checking it out with the 24-70 VR lens. Super heavy when I first uh, picked up this camera combination. And I actually got a chance to touch uh, uh, Hasselblad's mirrorless camera, the X1D. This is my first time touching a Hasselblad camera. It is a little bit laggy um, in function, um, but this is the best camera I have ever felt in my hands. You go online and you look at a certain camera that you want to buy or you're interested in. And I was actually interested in the um, Nikon D850. I'm singing Nikon because we're here in Japan. It's uh, pronounced Nikon in the States. But when I finally held it in my hand at y Yodobashi, it felt different to me. I felt a little bit larger than I was imagining. And live view wasn't uh, as quick as I would think would it be. It is quick for the older um, Nikons, uh, the D800 I used to have. Um, but it just kind of changes your opinion once you hold the camera that you've been researching and on Guam you don't have uh, camera stores that have all the cameras like laid out where you can try so it's pretty cool today I get to try the uh, cameras that uh, really interested me then I tried the uh, Lumix G9 uh, really amazing camera the EVF was so large inside like everyone has been saying I believe it's 0.85 A6 magnification, focus was super quick, but I do care about the final image and the image quality. I'm a sucker for high dynamic range, so I'm having a really hard decision deciding between the D850 or the G9. Also the Sony A7 series, a lot of reviews really love the A7 Mark III, but just holding it in my hand is just not for me. The touch screen isn't as responsive as I would like and the camera body just feels uh, the ergonomics of the a7 series doesn't fit well in my hands so at this point i really don't know what camera system i'm going to get into i've been trying sony out for a while with the e-mount and the a-mount i kind of want to go back to the nikon d850 for the dynamic range and the usability of the camera is so awesome with the touch screen the rear lcd on that is super high res is about two point six million pixels the g9 uh makes shooting fun again because it's very small usability is really awesome 
Uh, Micro Four Thirds files are lacking a little bit, but you can actually get away with a lot. Um, E-mount with the Sony again, I'm not too sure. Doesn't feel good in my hands, and that could actually mess up your shooting style if you're using a camera that doesn't really match you or doesn't really feel good in your hands. It'll always be distracting once you pick up the camera and it'll always be at the back of your head um, asking yourself, why did I get this camera? It doesn't really feel great in my hands. I need a camera that feels good. I need, you, you need a camera that makes you feel like you're gonna get the shots that you wanna get. So we'll see tomorrow um, what I get. I need to get a camera before the photo shoot. So I need to get a camera by tomorrow. gets off work still don't know what camera to get here i am at leica located at ginza 6 every year i always visit my friend mr oishi and he always helps me out showing me the latest uh, leica gear i am trying out the leica cl uh, of course this isn't one of my choices on what to get i wanted a uh, full frame cam camera that can really uh, blur the background and right now the leica cl lenses are limited in choice but it was pretty cool just to try it out with the touch screen so here we are, we're heading over uh, to see Tomo and Tomo is going to guide us at map camera and this is the same place where I went last year to buy um, the Monolta lens. So here we are at map camera, uh, we're walking in and I'm telling Tomo here that I've decided uh, on the taxi ride uh, to get the uh, D850. I feel that it's a very versatile camera uh, versus the G9 where the sensor is the only thing that's holding me back, it doesn't have that much dynamic range, I can't really blur the uh, background as much as the Nikon full frame sensor. So the floor it's on because it's separated by floors and the brand is uh, located on the third floor. So I was a little bit worried because when I checked the website, it looked like they were sold out of used uh, Nikon uh, D850s. But as we uh, see when we go inside, uh, they actually had um, one uh, D850 uh, in stock. So taking the elevator to the third floor. And we arrive. And so right now I'm feeling kind of nervous. Like if they don't have the D850 used, I'm just going to settle with the G9, even though that's not really what I wanted. And the only lens choice with the G9 is the 45 1.2 Olympus. Um, that can somewhat blur the background. So I see it here, um, I'm looking at the D810s and I'm asking Tomo, okay, so here's a D810, where's the D850? And we see it and there's only one left. And Godfrey right away says, hurry up and get it. So we try it out. Uh, I right away, I got the 24 to 120. I was able to test it out on this uh, copy of the D850, very sharp lens. And with it, I got the Sigma 135 1.8 art. So the yen was 113 to the dollar that day. I was able to purchase the uh, D50 used for about $2,650, including the 24 to 120 strap SQD card. And uh, I think that's it came out to about $3,100. And here's Tomo taking a photo with me with my new camera and lens combo portrait. Ends, 135 1.8 art. 
And here's the picture. As you can see, I'm pretty happy. I don't really show emotions uh, that much. So the Sigma 135 1.8 art came out to about $880. So I got everything within my budget of uh, 4,000 US dollars. Here I am walking out. I uploaded this on um, Instagram story. Uh, but at this point, no one really knows what I got. But yes, I have the D50 in there with the 24 to 120 and the 135 1.8. Thank you.